Hi, my name is Brian. I'm the founder of AfroBubbleCart. Today we'll be talking about AfroBubbleCart, which is a smartphone app helping people save time and look good. Um, instant confidence for academics, artists, actors, DJs, students, industry professionals. Um, it works like Uber. Just hail a barber and they come to you in the comfort of your home, office, or wherever you are. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today, I've brought you the traveling Baba man himself, Brian. Brian, how are you doing, my man? Good, thanks, my man. Prosper, always good to see you. Um, you're looking dapper as usual. And uh, thank you so much for having me on your show. Fantastic. Talking about looking dapper and looking your best. I mean, you can't do well if you don't feel well. You gotta have the confidence. You gotta know you're presentable in a way. And that's the reason why I brought my man, Brian, over here. Although I'm not a customer of his, Brian is actually a traveling barber man. He helps um, busy entrepreneurs like yourself with their haircuts, hairstyles, and actually their grooming, especially the male entrepreneurs um, you know, in and around Melbourne. Just because you're too busy to, um, you know, venture outside your office and go out and sit around and wait for 30 minutes for a barber man to cut your hair, he comes to you. Now, Brian, thank you so much for such a really good service. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you came up with this idea, my man. Okay, okay. Well, um, <clears throat> it's a bit of a long story. Um, as it is with most entrepreneurs, but uh, I just want to give you a bit of a background of uh, maybe who I am, um, my, 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 my history growing up, what kind of um, um, childhood I experienced. Um, so my, my full names are Brian Maina Macharya. I am I'm a trained accountant and a member of CPA Australia, and um, I'm the founder of Afro Baba Cut. Um, now, as a child, I always had a very curious character, you know, always loved people, being around people. So. Up to today, family and friends are my greatest asset. So uh, my middle life, um, you know, high school, um, you know, mid end of primary school, going on to high school, I was very interested in the arts, you know, uh, uh, beauty, uh, you know, the aesthetic quality of, uh, of, of the life that, uh, that we see every day. So I was actually in a uh, high school music group. It was actually your um, 2001 boy band, you know, like uh, Backstreet Boys or NSYNC. <laughs> But, um, you know, moving on to my tertiary life, uh, the thirst for the meaning behind the numbers uh, really took hold of my life. So I joined the University of Nairobi and um, um, after that, as it was, um, and this was in Nairobi, Kenya, um, unemployment at the time was about 40%. So I decided, oh, what am I going to do? So I took up the opportunity of um, partnering with one of the big telcos and I said, uh, look, I'm going to be the traveling... Uh, airtime man so i started by selling scratch cards so um i would try and build a list of customers um you know my my parents supported me quite a bit on that my siblings my cousins um, um of course um at some point that was unsustainable and i wasn't really able to uh, to make a business of it um i think I, I, when i look back now i see like um, i gave up too easily while the margins were still low um, but after that, I, uh, I moved into music because that was one of my earliest passions. So uh, I, I tried to have a, um, a, a, a singing career. Uh, that didn't work out very well as well. Um, I, I think I didn't really assess the market and what really it took to become a successful musician. So um, I, I decided to then, um, on the uh, advice of my mentors and some of my uh, people who advised me at that time to take an opportunity to work in a bank. So I spent about two years working in the banking sector. And, um, and, and this even crossed over to, um, to, to Australia when I came here in 2011. Um, I worked extensively with Commonwealth Bank of Australia um, and later on decided to, um, to, uh, to, uh, to go back to school and pursue an MBA degree because my thirst for knowledge has always you know, been there trying to find out, you know, what moves people, what, what kind of solutions are out there, you know. Um, so I, I, I started a professional services, uh, professional cleaning services company. Um, did that for about two years while I worked part-time at a, another company. 
Um, eventually that business also uh, did not succeed. Um, I, I suffered some poor health, so that was a barrier to me continuing. Um, so I decided to enroll into CPA Australia and that's where um, I, I, I've been spending my time for the last couple of years. Uh, I spent about uh, four years working in, uh, in uh, medium business, uh, medium sized businesses as well as the government. Uh, but then um, I decided to um, delve into um, app design, um, smartphone app design. So I did a bit of uh, research, connected with some people who um, were really good at it and um, showed me the ropes. And that's how I formed Afro Barbacard. So um, Afro Barbacard is a, it's a smartphone app. And what it does, it basically connects customers with qualified hairdressers and barbers. Um, and I really felt after living in Australia for eight years, um, and after gaining citizenship, I, I felt look, I felt a greater need to serve my community, especially um, after working in government where I saw a government that's really doing its best to serve the community, but there were still so many gaps um, that needed to be filled by the private sector. Absolutely. That, that is such a journey. And I was filling in the gaps with some of my stories as well, because I think we would have had, you know, <laughs> mixing parts in there. Um, but I'm really intrigued about, you know, the accountant that then became um, a musician and then, you know, from there starting off something to do with beauty. That's, that, there are so many genres that are in there. And um, had you um, proceeded with your music career, I think you would have been good and we would have been asking for autographs right now, my man. <laughs> Great stuff. All right. So you did, you did notice um, a need because as an entrepreneur, um, you know, we are here to solve problems and we're here to solve, um, you know, needs uh, that our community might be looking at. When you came up with the idea with Afro Baba Cut, what had personally happened to you or what was actually missing in the market that you noticed that this was needed? Thanks, Prosper. So the main problem um, is actually the, um, and this is for a cross section of community. And, and, and what I like to focus on is, is migrants because the journey of a migrant is a very unique journey and every migrant can connect with that story of a migrant. Um, now the main issue is availability of time. We just don't have enough time. I mean, think about early experiences on moving to a new, um, a new, a new geographical area. I mean, whether you're a parent or, or even a spouse or, uh, or a student or, or a new worker trying to get your career going, many times there just isn't enough hours in the day to get everything done. And this is where I realized, um, you know, people need to, um, people need to find a way to get done what needs to get done. Um, now, technology is a great thing because it has made, it has made such kind of, um, 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 it, has, it has brought possibilities. It has brought new, new frontiers. Um, now, think about whether you're an academic or an artist or an actor or a DJ or a, or a student or industry professional, you need to look good. And sometimes you just don't have the time to um, find a barber, number one, and then number two, uh, ask the barber what, what number you are in the queue, and number three, um, sit around um, using data that you pay, uh, you pay big dollars for, um, you know, trying to research some things as you wait for the, the, the other customer to be done. So this is why um, I founded Afro Barber Card, to shorten that time and connect ready barbers, professional barbers who are ready to go at the click of a button and customers who just don't have the time to, uh, you know, to spend time waiting and looking for, for barbershops. Absolutely. Now you see the one thing that's really interesting about your product is it's very disruptive in a very clever way, just like Uber. Uber does not sell uh, taxis. Uber sells time. And what you've just done here is sell back time to that very busy um, immigrant or entrepreneur because what they would be doing is, um, you know, just clicking a button and then somebody arrives and they're already having their haircuts right there. Now, have you tested it, this on the market and what sort of response are you getting from people that are, 
you know, now getting their time back by using your services. So thanks, Prosper. So I've got a lot of feedback from my, um, from my uh, focus group that I've been using to test this product. I, I think prototyping is so important because when you get a small group of people who can test the product, actually use the app, actually see if some of the things on the app uh, are not necessary or you would like to add this or would like to have that, it really uh, makes it a, a collective um, innovation. So um, we've gotten so much positive feedback from some of the people we've tested this with. The app is really easy to use. Um, what actually I'm getting from a lot of um, the, 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 um, the people in the focus group is that um, perhaps we need to um, expand some of our products to reach um, perhaps people other than men. So um, this is something that we're working towards um, it, it is it is a big project, but it is something that we want to do so that no one is left out. Um, if, if, if whoever you are, wherever you are, you can pick up the app, dial the hairdresser, and a hairdresser is at your work or your office, or even at the train station, wherever you are. Absolutely. I can so see so many possibilities. Even, um, you know, when, when time comes up, you can also include the services of maybe beauty therapists or masseuse people, makeup artists, traveling tailors, all those people can utilize your, your particular service right there. Because if somebody's looking good, they automatically want to, um, you know, have, you know, that whole look going um, in every aspect of their outfit. So good on you, man, for sporting, um, you know, an opportunity. I mean, I, for somebody who's always been taking chances from, you know, you taking on the uh, scratch cards, buying airtime, I can imagine seeing you going around <laughs> for Zane or for Celtel, and then now That's you... Right. <laughs> and now you've seen an opportunity um, in Australia that actually can become one of the biggest innovations ever to come, uh, especially in the beauty industry right there. Now, um, what, are the, what are the future plans of this app or your platform or your business, uh, Brian? So that, because like you say, people are helping you build, but obviously you need to know where you're taking these people because people can't just blindly follow something that, won't be, you know, expanding or growing or uh, becoming bigger than it is right now. What sort of um, five-year, ten-year plans are we to expect, um, you know, from Afro Baba Khan? Absolutely. So, uh, Prosper, I think the most important thing, um, and one of the things that I've gotten from from your question is, you know, what's the future going to look like? You know, yeah. what can we promise people who use the app? What can we promise? Um, both sides, suppliers and consumers, what, what can we promise them? Now, one of the things that this app really does and steps in, and as I said before, the government really tries um, to uh, fill in all the, all the, all the needs of, 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 of citizens, but the private sector still is responsible for filling in the gaps. Now, one of the gaps is freedom. Now, you've seen, um, you know, um, apps or online websites like iSelect. You've seen... Um, um, you know, um, the one with the meerkat. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's one thing that people really, really crave. It's freedom. People want the freedom to choose. So uh, people need a range of options. Uh, they need to also feel like they can agree with some, um, some standards that, you know, you, get, you guys are, like if, for example, if it's Telstra, oh, you guys are giving us this, whereas Optus are giving us this. Um, you know, people want to be able to, uh, to, to dissent and to agree and say, hey, no, we want to go with Telstra because they give this, or we want to go with Optus because they give this. And we know that, especially in the migrant community, especially the African Australian community, one of the ways to build uh, up the social standing of the community is through media and enterprise. Um, now, we know that um, people undertaking these two uh, endeavors, they constantly need to be reinventing themselves, looking good, uh, you know sometimes two or three times in a day. So um, we're giving people choice and, and we can promise that the list of um, qualified hairdressers will continue to increase and also the list of available products um, and uh, related services will also continue to increase. Absolutely, because like, I, like you've said, you need 
um, you know, you can't go further alone. You need everybody else to be helping in unison. So both sectors, the service providers and the people that are receiving the service, they all need to know that this is something that is going to be going a whole lot further with them. Now, obviously, people are watching this and they're now excited about this app. How can people get a hold of you or how can people get their hands on this app here, uh, Brian? Okay, so this app is available, it's live, it's ready to go. All you need to do is go to the Google Play Store or go to the Apple Store and just search Afro Baba Cart and download the app onto your phone. And all you need to do is just sign up with your email address and your telephone number and that will then enable you to have access to the ordering platform where you can see a range of the services that we offer and um and and pretty much what it does it, it works like the uber app once it's on your phone and you've signed in whenever you feel like you want to um, order services that's all you need to do the other place you can get some information about afrobarbacart is our website which is www.afrobarbacart.com um, we also have a fantastic facebook page um just type in the search bar afrobarbacart and you'll get all kinds of fun um posts and um, um opportunities for engagement um and uh, it will really really um get you um feeling like you're uh in a little bubble shop uh uh like the ones you were in when you were growing up it, it's really it's really designed to bring that nostalgic effect and just give you that sense of belonging um as well as freedom Absolutely. There's nothing nostalgic. I mean, that brings back nostalgia than sitting around in a barber shop and, you know, all the gossip and everything else that happens within the neighborhood is all discussed in there. Now, Brian, obviously this, this is fantastic and we really want to help you bring it out there and word out there just so that people can get to know you, like you and trust um, using the, um, the app. Is there any sort of last words you might have for us or for the people that really want to join or especially the people that are the service providers? Because once you have more of those, it's easier to then bring, um, you know, the clientele as, um, you know, people can um, have so much choice like what you keep talking about there. Yeah, certainly. For, just for a final word, I just, I'd just like to say two things. First is that um, Australia um, is, is, is a fantastic country with lots of opportunities, lot of, lots of wonderful people from such a big variety of, uh, of cultures. Um, now, how we all mesh together and, and, and continue to exist peacefully um, is just awesome. It's just awesome. And everybody wants to participate. I mean, as humans, we want to be receptive and we also want to share our expertise. So, um, you know, people like feeling um, like they're a part of something. And that's what this app does. Um, and we also know that socially attractive people receive more social rewards. So this is every incentive for you to, I mean, look at you, Prosper. You, you look amazing. I mean, you, you're magnetic. You make people just want to look at your show and just replay the, the live videos. So <laughs> this, this is what you get. Mary. This is what we, <laughs> I'm very truthful. <laughs> I, just have to, I just have to say Say it as it is. Now, also, there's such a big opportunity because, um, as, as you know, in the previous uh, couple of months, there's been a big debate about um, 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 uh, the African society in terms of um, what is our contribution to the, to the, to the economy. Now, um, th there's been bad things that have been said. There's been truths that have been said. But what I'm asking um, some of the service providers out there to do is to actually think about the big picture and see how um, the same way that others have carved a niche uh, in the in the in, in the economy based based on the community, that there is a huge opportunity for for people to work together um, and, and get a bigger share of the pot. Absolutely, wise words from a wise man. Thank you so much for your time on the episode today. And I know this is not going to be the last time we're seeing you um, because your business Afro Baba Cart is growing and we're going to be having so much fun, um, you know, with you in the future. So thank you so much. In the meantime, um, if you're in Melbourne and if you're really looking for either some, um, you know, if you're a makeup artist or if you're a hairstylist that knows a thing or two about African hair or just 
beauty in general, get in touch with Brian. He's got an amazing um, app that would actually help you be, do, and have a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable on your side. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.